Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Checkerboard Cipher, which is the most recent cipher for the 2025 to 2026 Codebusters season. Um, and I'm going to try to explain it really nicely um, because most of you probably have never seen this cipher before um, since it's brand new this year. So essentially what the checkerboard cipher is, is it's quite similar to the Nihilus cipher. Um, so it might be helpful for you guys to go watch my video on that cipher um, and then come back to this one because it's going to help you out a lot. So let's just try out this question um, and I'm going to walk you through it and then I'm going to give you guys a practice question that you guys can try out by yourself. So the first thing that you have to do is, um, just like the Nihilus cipher, you're going to have a 5 by 5 grid. And this will be, like, the grid will be given to you, but for us, I'm just going to draw it in real quick. Okay. There's our 5 by 5 grid. And then here you can see that we have a, a Polybius key of specialty. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to go ahead and fill in the first... Um, letters of the uh, five by five grid with our Polybius key. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the letters. So if we go through, we have S, P, E, C, and now we have I. And so what's special about the I is, if you remember from the Nihilus cipher, um, we have 25 squares here, but we have 26 letters in the alphabet. And so to make up for that difference in numbers, um, we group the I and J together um, since, you know, J is rarely ever used in phrases like this. So now we have special, and then we have A-L-T-Y. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the letters. So we have B, we have C right there, D, we already have E over here, F, G, H. We already have I, J, then we're going to have K. We already have L, so we're going to fill in M and O. Um, we already have P, so we're going to go Q, R. We have S already. We also have T, so it's going to be U, V, W, X, and then we have Y, so it's going to be Z. So that's the Polybius key that we're going to be using. Now, from here on is where it gets a little bit different from um, the Nicholas cipher, where uh, we have to find, they're gonna be essentially two keywords, one that's gonna go over there and then one that's gonna go over here. So the way we find these unique keywords is um, we, we call them essentially, these are the row letters and these are the column letters. So the row letters is um, what comes first, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a sec, and then column comes second. Okay, so what does this first and second mean? Essentially, if I fill in a word over here and I fill in a word over here, the way that I get um, my ciphertext is like, let's say I want the first letter in my text to be an S, right? So we're going to take this word and this word, and it's going to be combined, and that's what's going to decrypt into an S. So in case that didn't make sense, I'm going to explain it a little bit more um, by solving this. So you're going to see what I mean in a sec. So the first thing we need to do is to find the row letters. We need to look at each first letter in um, this, uh, you know, key, and we need to find the unique ones. So obviously we see we have an F right here. We have K, and then we have A. Then we also have an E. And then lastly, we have a D. Okay, and these are, they're always going to be five. So, um, and let's say for example, you only find four unique um, letters in the first. Um, that just means one letter is going to be repeated in your row keyword. So now you just have to, it's like a monogram. You just have to, um, you know, figure out what word is made from that. 
Um, so here it's kind of obvious it's going to be faked. So what does that mean for us? That means that over here, we're going to fill in faked. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the same and find the column keyword. And so instead of looking at the first letter, we're going to look at the second letters. So we have S, O, um, O is right here. We have K, we have R, and then we have C. Okay. So now if we look at the anagram, we have two different matches um, that I, I can at least think of. We have rocks and we have quarks. So both of these could be our column keyword. And so that's where we have to experiment a little bit. So let's go ahead and um, let's just use uh, the first one here, rocks, and we're gonna try it out and see if it works. And if it does work out, that means, I mean, that was our keyword. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in rocks over here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and slowly decode this entire thing. So um, if we first look at the first one, we have FS, so that if we go through our key, FS, so it's either I or J. Next we have KO, so you're gonna get F. Next we have another FS, so it's gonna be I or J. KK is right here, it's gonna be S. AR is an A. So, um, and let's just do one more. KR is a D. So, so far this looks good because um, you can just uh, translate it into if I, um, oh, this is supposed to be an H, sorry. If I had, right. Um, so, it looks pretty good so far. Um, if Let's keep going though. Uh, so we finished off at KR where we got the D. So AR is going to be A. ES is going to be R. And then EC is going to be O. AS is going to be B. Um, EC is going to be O. AC is going to be T. So now we have, if I had a robot, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest really quick. So you should get, if I had a robot friend, they would be electric. Okay, so that's kind of um, how you do this. So uh, you start off with um, making up your five by five uh, square, um, and then you're going to go ahead and try to find the row keyword and the column keyword, and then you're just gonna like um, just try to figure out what each of these pair of letters decrypts to. Okay, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um, let's go ahead and try out a question on your own. So we have our ciphertext, and I'm telling you that the keyword here is fashion. So like usual, uh, if I just want to write down some steps, you're going to fill in your five by five box, find a row and column, keyword, and then you're just going to solve. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video here and try to solve this by yourself. Okay, so if you guys pause the video, um, since it is a brand new um, cipher, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to solve this rather than just giving you guys the answer. So what, what you should have done for the first step, you should have filled in your five by five box. So here's our box here. 
we're going to fill in fashioned right and then you want to go ahead and fill in the rest of your letters we have b c g um we already have b c g h i uh, j k l m we have n and o so we're going to p q r we already have s so t u um and then v w x y z so that's your um, five by five uh, key there. And then we're going to find our row and column letters. So if we take a look at the first letter of each of these pairs, we have an R, a B, a K, an I, and a C. So R, B, K, I, C. So if we solve it like an anagram, you should get brick. Because we just, um, you know, shift around the letters, and that's that's I think the only combination of word five letter word that you can get from there. Okay, so now we're gonna find our column keyword. So we have a n t p, and we have a l over here. Okay, so we have a n p t and l. So it should look pretty obvious to you. It should be plant. So now we're going to, if you just fill those in, so plant goes over here, brick goes over here. And now, if you just simply solve, well, the answer you should have gotten is um, easy, easy cipher example i know not too creative but um that's that's what you should have got so now another key thing um that i think could be helpful it's not necessary for you guys to know about the checkerboard cipher um but if you think about it if you treat each pair of letters as its own symbol you could honestly solve the cipher as a aristocrat um that's probably a lot harder than this way um but you know some people are just really good at aristocrats so you could uh try it out that way in this case you would notice that the the combination r a which shows up there um there and then we have two over here it, it shows up the most in this ciphertext and so it decrypts to e so honestly, if you'd like, you could solve this as an aristocrat, but I think doing this five by five uh, box and then decoding it the actual way is probably a lot easier for you. Okay, so hopefully you guys understood how to um, solve the checkerboard cipher. It's a completely brand new cipher this year, so it's it could be quite confusing, honestly, um, at some points. However, if you guys have any questions, please do let me know in the comments and I will um, respond to them as soon as I can. But with that, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.